Yay, we're back on. Who's having fun? You guys are going off. I'm madly cutting and pasting into the event the different um, things to do, and you guys are just powering through. So hopefully this will be a time where you can um, see the little frog um, carrier in action. If you are here, can you please give me a like or a comment? Hopefully comments will work again and I won't have to return to my phone. We were really lucky in that initial um, live. Everything went down beautifully. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting comments. So I might need to just have a little peek in my phone right this moment so I can grab comments. Oh, there we are. I can see Kat. No comments just yet. All right. So I want to start by saying that we have extensively tested this carrier. We have had um, prototypes since just after Christmas. Hey, Kath. Yes, great. Um, just after Christmas, we were able to um, have a few local people review the carrier. We've seen it start from its beginnings right through to the carrier that it is today. Um, Little Frog were really receptive with our feedback and not just us, but with feedback that they received from lots of different people who wore the carrier. Um, and so there was a long list of things that I suggested that we would have liked to have seen and they, they listened and they did that. Um, so that just shows what sort of company they are for a start. So you know that if you are buying a Little Frog carrier or a woven wrap or a ring sling, you are supporting an ethical company, a family run company. So that is awesome. That's really important. Um, so let me start by saying that everything is listed on our website now. Um, I've popped the link in with the pricing. Everything is available for pre-order. Okay, we would have loved to have had carriers here tonight. Um, I deliberated long and hard about what to do. Um, my, I really want to be able to provide um, the colours that you're after and the numbers that people want. And that was just going to be really hard to gauge knowing what people were after. So we're looking at about a two to three wait, a two to three week wait. Um, it could be quicker, but realistically, they do come from Poland. So we just want you guys to be prepared to know that, you know, um, if you place your order tonight, they are usually, so there's there's nine colors that they are, they are, are available in. You'll see that on the website if you pop over and have a look. There's, um, Seven standard weaves, which are all going to be retailing for $1.99, including free postage, but tonight and for the next five days. So until Monday at 8 p.m., we're going to be offering them at $1.79, which is so good for a wrap, um, a wrap conversion structure carrier. So the carrier is not – so lots of carriers in the market um, exceed well and truly the $200 mark, and they are made from canvas. Some are up in the high twos. So this is a carry that's going to stay under the $200 mark. But tonight, obviously, if you order it and in the next five days, you'll get that deal for $179, including free postage. Now, there are two jacquard weaves that are also listed on the website. You'll see Indigo Glow, which is the blue, and this one here. This is the black tubes. And being a jacquard weave, um, they are priced a little bit more, so the RRP on these are going to be two fifteen. But for the next five days, we're bringing them down to under two hundred again, so they'll be one ninety five, including free postage. All right, so hopefully that helps just to explain the pricing. Um, as I say, for a wrap conversion, that is amazing. So you've got that that woven wrap that's covering you and your baby. Let me just show you. Before I take you through. Um, yeah, and so that's what's covering your baby's back is two layers of woven wrap fabric. So this is the sort of carrier that I envision will be um, really suitable for people who have not really taken on a woven wrap or a ring thing. They're not really sure about baby wearing. They need a quicker option, an easier option. It has buckles, and so you're going to get that ease of putting the buckles on and quick, a really good option if you've got multiple people um, wanting to wear the, the baby. Um, and yeah, if as I say, I'm hoping and I have noticed and I've had a few friends jump on board too who are not super keen on woven wraps and that's okay. It's a certain type of person um, and they're really keen on the little frog carrier. So the specs 
I've, I've got it listed in our blog post, but just a quick rundown. It is newborn, suited from newborn right through to age two. Um, it has a weight range of four to 20 kilos. Someone was asking me about the width of the, sorry, sorry, how far this buckle could extend to. We worked out that it cinches down to 79 centimetres. Now, Patrick from Little Frog is in the group tonight, so he might be able to correct me, but my measurements showed that I was at um, 79 centimetres, and that comes right out to, from memory, I've written it in the group though, you'll see 153 centimetres. So if you require a larger carrier, that will accommodate you really well and everyone in between. So I want to start by showing you um, just the, the, the buckle. I'll bring it up. Alrighty, so it's got that click that drives some people crazy, but it's really important. You need to hear the click. Okay, the click's really important. It tells you your carrier is actually on safely. Um, so I've had a lot of questions about the cinchable mechanism here. As you can see, or hopefully, if I lift this up, there is a line of Velcro. And yes, you can do back carries in this. So you can wear your baby on your front, tummy to tummy. You can't wear them facing outwards. That is not an optimal position for um, correct hip positions. But you can wear your baby facing yourself or on your back. It's a great option for that. So let me just show you. I'll just lift it up. It's a bit tricky, but I'm going to... It just... You just pull it all the way along, the runner, and then you have... Sorry. <laughs> a beautifully cinched waist for a newborn, just there. And that can go right in. And I'm going to show you right now with my big baby. So Haley, can you come please? Haley, this is my big baby. She's she's almost as well. She's almost as tall as me. But my big baby doesn't have a big baby belly, so she's going to demonstrate wearing the carrier. And the first we're we're going to demonstrate firstly with a newborn. So all I want you to do is stay back. Honey. Okay. So when you wear a structured carrier, unless you're pregnant like me. You need to wear it up really high. You do need to wear it down more so on your hips, okay, because that's going to distribute the weight better. Um, it's not going to give you that pain that sometimes sets in here between your shoulder blades. Okay, so you wear it down. Now, obviously, with a newborn, you don't want to wear it too low, but, you know, you just need to fiddle and find some people like me. I have a long torso, so I need to wear my carrier up a little bit higher. So all I've done is I've just cinched that in. And because it is fabric and it's not canvas, then it's going to be beautifully and beautiful and soft around the baby. All right, so we're just going to get Haley to turn around. Just all the way around, darling. Now, it's a bit hard to see, I know. Just step forward. All I'm doing is I'm just adjusting that from when I opened it to be huge. All right, so she's pretty much at maximum cinching. So just turn back around. All right, we're going to centre that. So this is my newborn doll. Okay, this is eyes closed. Thanks, Robin, for reminding me. This is my newborn doll, three kilos maybe. Mel, I think, was asking. Mel, are you watching? I think you were asking about a cinched, a demonstration of the baby, a newborn baby with the carrier totally cinched with like a four-week-old. This would be a good example. All right, so Haley. Haley's new to baby wearing, so she's going to listen to me. Just pop your arms in, down. All right, so as you can see, I'm not. We haven't done up the carrier yet, but you can see that that's totally cinched in from knee to knee. It's not bulky at all. Okay, and here it's sitting beautifully. So it's really hard to show on on the live, but if you can see, just move your hands, hey. Knee to knee, we've got support there. So I'm just going to turn her around. And I will admit, we did fiddle with this before. So it is adjusted to fit her. Um, but as you can see, look, we're all different makes. Just hold that baby, Haley. This extends right out. If you are a larger person, 
This is going to work. If you are anyone in between, you can do the same thing. Do all the colours have that singed option? Yes, they do, Alicia, the whole lot. So it's the same design across all nine colours. It just really depends on what you like the look of. Now at the arms here, just get her to, just let go of your baby for a minute, just move to the side here. This is a two-way adjustable belt, okay? That means that I can actually wear the carrier with the straps crossed at my back. Now currently I'm using what we call the chest belt. We call it a chest belt, but it's like a sternum strap, it's at the back, okay? It's amazing, Kayla. The cinch is amazing. It just comes straight in. It's nothing like any other carrier I've had where I've had to push it in. It just does it. It's amazing. So that means that I can actually unbuckle these, and I'll show you in a minute, where I can cross these straps. And some people prefer that. Now, Joy, who works with us, who's a lovely friend of mine who came to MummyCon with me, was wearing um, the graphite herringbone carrier for most of the day, and she loves it with straps crossed at her back. So she was wearing our bigger demo doll, our 12-month-old demo doll, um, on her back. So excellent example of back carrying. And she had the straps crossed at her back, super comfy. And this really just becomes superfluous. It's there if you want to give it to someone else to wear with the straps like that. So there's your two-way adjustable belt. So all that means is that I can, I can tighten the carrier here. I can have the buckle here, which I probably wouldn't recommend. But if you want to, you can. So just move back around, okay? You can actually... Put your hand up. Just have the buckle closest to the body of the carrier. Um, and then again on this side, we'll do the same. Now, this is a little safety strap. Can you see that? It's really hard to see. It's a little loop. So I can just pop that through there. And if I wanted to be really super organized, I can actually roll up these straps here all the way up. Boom, boom, boom. And I can cover them over just to get them out of my way. But look, when you're fiddling and if you're moving between carrier wearers, it's probably not going to be necessary. But there we go. So if you just have a look at the front, um, you've got these adjustable straps here. Now this one's loose. I'm just going to pull that down. That just that like um, shortens the panel here. Now. I've actually pulled this in, I've cinched this in, but if this was a bigger baby, I can wear that all the way out like that. Yeah, that's right, nobody got time for rolling. <laughs> now, if this was a really big baby, I could actually extend my carrier up with the use of these hooks here, these loops. Now, I don't suggest covering your baby's face, but for the purpose of this, let me show you. So up here on the hook, there's a hook. And I can hook this up. And with a baby, especially in like a back carry, let's pretend my baby's quite a lot taller. That can provide a panel in which you can, your baby can put their arms out or your, or your you know, your 18 month old or your 12 month old who wants to have um, support in the back but wants their arms out. So that's a good option for back carrying. Obviously you wouldn't do that with a newborn. What we would do is we would Cinch it right down. I've got this cool thing here, this toggle. Make sure the toggle's nowhere near the baby. Whoops. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If I've missed anything, which I probably have missed lots of things, um, just ask. But if you have a look, this is, this is the coolest thing ever. It is amazing, me to need. Now, that is a newborn. Let me show you with our three month old, and then I will extend it now. Obviously, if you've not used a structure carry before, that was not good technique. What you need to do is you need to actually loosen off your straps so that you can get out of the carrier, not break an arm in the process. So what I tend to do is I tend to just lift, lift this buckle out. And again, Hayley, hold your baby. It's really important you don't lose your baby. <laughs> now, in doing that, that brings the straps up. So Hayley could actually pop her hand to the back here and unbuckle. But because she's new to carriers, no, we don't. We never do undo that one, darling. We always <laughs> undo this one here, and then this one on the back. Yes, we will do a demo on the back for sure. Yes, Joe, I'll get to that in a moment. All right, so I'm going to undo this, and we're going to take the baby out, and I'm just going to show you how we adjust it for a three month and onwards baby who has a bigger spread squat. Let me show you. All right, so if you just pop your baby down now. 
it is possible that depending on how wide the baby's legs are, we may need to pull out this cinching a little bit. So all I'm going to do is, let me show you. I'm going to pull this Velcro and I'm just going to move it across slightly, ever so slightly. Yep, Marina Rose will do that. We'll do a back carry demo. I've just moved it out slightly. You may find that when you get your baby in, it's not quite knee to knee or it's over correct, like over straightening the hips. You just need to adjust it and bring it in. Um, thank you, Rachel. I think she's beautiful too. <laughs> All right, let's grab this three month old. He looks so happy to be here tonight. And this is the irony. This outfit used to be worn by this baby. This was her, one of her outfits she wore around this age. And so it was our favorite outfit. So. It's been worn on all our girls and now it gets worn on our baby, our baby doll. So that's, that's really cool. All right. So as you can see, this baby is quite a lot bigger. They've got a decent spread squat. So they're spreading their legs further apart. So they're going to require support here. This is the cool thing about this carrier. So there are lots of buckle carriers on the market that can be bought in mainstream baby stores. They don't tend to support from knee to knee they tend to support from up here. So it's sort of like sitting on a narrow seat. You know yourself, if you sat on a narrow seat, it's not very comfortable. Whereas if you sit, if you sit yourself in say a hammock from knee to knee as an adult, it's much more comfortable. So that's a really good example of, you know, comfort for you and for your baby. All right, let's give this a whirl. All right, so as I said, we would just did like a quick estimation for the spread squat. Now, not bad. Just move your hand for a minute, darling. You can see we are pretty spot on. Now, this has great legs out padding. Okay, that legs out padding makes it comfy for the baby to sit there. And as they get bigger, legs out padding is really important because you find it can be diggy underneath the knees. Um, so you can see straight away that baby's head is higher. Just turn around. We'll just adjust it again. All I'm going to do is pull this. And then on this side. Can that go down? All right. Okay, let's turn around for everybody to see. Okay, there we go. We've got good support there with lots of options for extension. Now, Can you see how I just did that? That actually, as I said before, it will shorten the straps, gives you that really close feeling. It's much more feeling like you're wearing a woven wrap as opposed to um, a buckle carrier that's made from canvas. Okay, um, so there's been a question, let me just scroll back through, about back carrying. Um, yes, we can demonstrate that in just a minute. If there's any other questions, please feel free to post them. Hopefully, it's saying we've got 14 watching. Hopefully, they're still watching. Hasn't it? Doesn't seem to have. Um, it doesn't seem to be an issue, so that's good. All right. So I'm just going to um, pop this baby out. So we'll just adjust it, adjust it again. Loosen off the straps underneath the carrier. That brings the chest strap up. She could do this if she wanted to. I'll help her get out of it. So just hold the baby. All right. All right. So you just pop the baby down now. This is our big demo doll. Um, he or she, we haven't named this one yet. Um, he's about nine to 12 months, okay? So this is a bigger baby. So this is a very hippie baby. This is a baby that's got good upper body control, good neck control. So I can confidently wear this size baby on my back and I'm, I'm not gonna wear my newborn on my back, okay? Because there's issues with compromising, um, airflow, upper body control. And the thing is, you can't actually technically wear your baby in this carrier in high back carry. Um, it is what we call more of a mid to low back carry because it's a soft structured carrier. Um, so you just need to keep that in mind um, in regards to choosing the right carry for your baby. Okay, so I would say around the four to six month mark, maybe the six month mark, you could consider wearing your baby on your back. Um, obviously you need to keep it's hard. You can't keep an eye on them, okay? So at that, around that six-month age, it, they tend to be 
um, a lot more developed, upper body control, all that sort of stuff. There's just a question. Okay, Yvette. Okay, the big the waist strap goes to 153 centimeters, so that extends right out. So I can show you that again before we we jump off. So all the colors, yes, Alicia, all the colors are the same feature. Okay, what's the difference between the ones that are a little bit more expensive? Okay, it's just the weave of the woven wrap. So in our store, we sell standard weave wraps. They're just what we call a cross twill, broken cross twill weave. Patrick will probably be able to correct me on this if he's here still. That's the owner of Little Frog. And there's also um, a jacquard weave. And a jacquard weave is a little bit more intricate. Okay, the cotton that's used, it's the design really. It's just the design. So they're not any less um, special. So, for example, this is just a stand weave, and it's beautiful. And you wouldn't you wouldn't need the more expensive one, but if you loved the colours of the indigo glow or of the jacquard black cubes, then that the price is purely just the the cost of the wrap is just fractionally more. So, if you were to buy that wrap in our store, it would cost a little bit more. I hope that helps. All right, so here is our big baby now. I'm not really here to demo how to get your baby safely onto your back. That's another, that's another day. So I'm just going to put the baby onto Haley's back in the carrier. And I would suggest that if you are new to back carrying in a soft structured carrier that you get some help, that you always have a spotter, someone there that can then say, stop, you know, or don't just try and throw your baby in your back. It's, it's a learned skill. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to put the baby up and you can see um, how knee to knee this baby is. So remember, we cinched that carrier for a three-month-old. I'm going to open it right up. Um, and obviously, as your baby grows, their spread squat um, it increases here. So that requires you to, um, as they get bigger, open the Velcro up. But it's simple. You saw that I could do it while she was wearing it. Don't worry, Jess. I've got the special running for the whole five days. You've got five days to watch the live and understand about the carrier and then make a decision on our awesome introductory price. Okay, so that would be, yeah, don't don't worry. Babies need to be fed, it's all important. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the carrier now on Haley to the maximum weight, the maximum um, capacity, and you'll see it's quite generous. So just a second. Oh, sorry baby, I need to be a bit more careful with my dolls. So all I'm doing is I'm opening it up and I'm pulling it along, if I can do it. Yes, I can. All right, so at full extension, I think it's something like, oh, I'm going from memory, that could be bad, 40, 40 centimeters. I think it goes from 22 to 40, but we've got, that's all in the blog, and it's all on the product listings, you'll see. Now, that was pretty simple. If you don't mind people poking your belly, I don't like people poking my belly, but poking your belly, then um, that's at full extension. All right, so let's have a go. Yeah, Anna, Haley is very impressed. She's impressed to help. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to show you in the front carry just so you can see from knee to knee, and then we'll move to a back carry. All right. Now, when you're wearing a baby on your front who is bigger, Sometimes one of the issues is that they, um, their, their torso is quite tall and so they can get in your line of view, in your vision. Just turn around, hey. So by about 12 months, look, I love to wear my babies on my front, but there were times when I needed them out of my way. I love them, but I needed them on my back. Okay, if I was cooking or doing something that required the, the hands not to be there, then I needed them out. And so it's worth remembering, now I'm just adjusting all this because this was obviously for our three-month-old. Now, so you can see that this big plastic head is not very comfy. <laughs> just go to that side, darling. And arms don't help either. Okay, arms that don't go anywhere are not overly helpful. All right, so, yeah, you can see that that baby is quite a lot bigger than that three-month-old. Whoops. Sorry, darling. Move your hands. And you can see where knee to knee. That is so cool. Can you guys see that? 
Yeah, it's hard to see over your 12 month head in a front carry. So, knee to knee, just there. And beautiful bottom. And if you use cloth nappies, um, you'll get a really good seat. Okay, it just gives that bit of extra. All right, I'm going to pop the baby on Haley's back, and you can see. Um, also, on if you go back on our website where we blogged about MummyCon, you'll see Joy wearing her this doll in the graphite herringbone carrier on her back. Oops. I'm getting the webbing caught. Don't do that. Especially not helpful when you're trying to run a live. This can happen sometimes too with a new carrier. So don't get frightened. It's sort of just like um, when you twist your car seat buckles. All right, let's go. Baby off. Okay, we're going to turn the carrier around. Yes, there we go. Just face the front and we'll just show everybody. Don't worry, Lou, you can re-watch it. Okay, step back. Thank you, darling. All right, so it's what we call an off-centre buckle. Hey, this is so thin that you can't actually see that, but if I show you, the buckle has just this much web in here and all this web in here. And obviously we can just, you know, fold that webbing up. And for me, in my current state, if I was wearing my structured carrier, um, if I was game, I have worn through pregnancies before, not this one, but I have in other pregnancies. And that's very possible. If you continue wearing, your body's used to it. So I can actually roll that back up and have that out of the way. But it's really good in a back carry because it doesn't actually dig in the middle, it comes to the side. All right. Yes, it is, Lou. It's quite similar to some other soft structure carriers. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask Hayley to lean forward. And as I said, this is not a demonstration of how to back carry. This is just purely for you to see um, just this spread squat in the carrier. All right, so just pop your arm through there, John. All right, so I'm just going to get you, yep, buckle yourself up and I'll just tighten you up. In a back carry, I, this is a little bit crooked, but I'll show you why, I like to keep this buckle down close near to the carrier. Then it stops it going under my arm and digging. All right, and you can actually, with the two-way adjustable belt, you can go that way. Now this side's all dodgy, so let's fix it. So move to this side. Okay, stop. Oh, and I've gone the wrong way. All right, just after I said let's put it that way, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, so just turn around. All right, there's the back carry. Now, my baby is nicely supported. I will turn her around just a second. This baby is arms in, okay? But obviously as your baby gets taller, your baby is going to have arms out. And that's not a problem. It does pose some different feelings for you as you wear the structure carrier. Okay, so if you're wearing a baby in say like a kinder pack, in like a toddler or a preschool size, your arms are gonna be out. If the carrier's not high enough here, that's fine. But sometimes it is good to be able to have the ability to make it higher and that's what this does. So this actually, let's pretend our baby's bigger than this, but still within the weight range, still within 20 kilos. They might be pushing too, but they're fine height-wise, okay? They're still fitting into it. There's lots of two-year-olds that are really wafy and thin, and they're going to fit within that 20 kilos for a lot longer than two. That's just a guideline. Um, as long as you're within the weight range, it's perfectly fine. I can actually extend this up, and I can make this higher so that... My baby's head's not going to be here, but their arm's going to be out the top, and they're going to be up here. And that's where you can wear it down a little bit lower. So hopefully that's helpful in a back carry. So I'm not sure if there's any other questions. Feel free to ask them now. Otherwise, I think we're going to hop off, and I'm going to put up our next activity. Now, if you've been watching and you want to be part of the, the treasure hunt, don't stress. It's just five URLs that you can send to me overnight. We're not going to draw that one till tomorrow. So it just gave you a little bit of respite so you could watch. But please, these carriers are on the website now. As I said, if you missed it, they are priced. We've got our one, um, the standard weave, okay, which is this one here. 
Thanks, Katie. You can go and sit down now. Okay, so standard weave is usually $1.99, including free postage, but for the next five days, we're offering a pre-ordered special of $1.79. So you place your order and we will have it to you in the next three weeks. Hopefully, that will be quicker. But it's just really hard to know. We've got um, carriers being released overseas as well, and we really want to meet demand. So have a look at all the colours. And if you're not sure, have a look at the woven wrap that corresponds to the colour that you're looking at in the structured carrier. So those are 179 Amazing, amazing. Most soft structured carriers in Australia are retailing about the 250 plus, or at least over the $200 mark. So this is under $200. And the two jacquard weaves are going to, are going at two fifteen usually with free post, but for the next five days at one ninety five, so still under, well under the two hundred dollar mark. Um, we, hey, look, my nearly four year old is under eighteen kilos. There you go. If you've got a short four year old like I do, then you're going to get heaps more use out of this carrier than just to two. Okay, but obviously there has to be a a limit that's put on there. But but I always suggest you just need to go based on the weight limit. Okay, so you'll know if your child's really tall and they're, you know, outgrowing, um, you, then obviously this may not be the carrier for you. But if you've got, you know, your average size child and you know how much they weigh, then definitely consider it. So with the free postage, um, I need to, ah, oh, that's a very good question. I need to check if I've um, actually popped free postage on the, on the website listings. It is free postage. If you hop on tonight and you purchase and you pay postage, I will refund your postage. Please don't stress, but I won't be able to get on and do that until after our party is closed. So you've got five days to go through, but I will thank you for asking the question. Usually our website triggers um, free postage over $1.99, and this being $1.99, it may actually charge postage. So we will feel free to either check it out now, and I will refund the postage, or I will change the listing after the party has finished. Um, so come Monday night, we will be placing our order. So you really need to have your orders in by then. I just don't know. I mean, there's been a lot of build up to this here in Australia and we do have other vendors that are taking on board the structure carrier as well, which is so exciting. So it's just really hard to gauge it. So I would suggest that I wouldn't wait too long. Um, I will be updating Little Frog over the weekend with any orders that come in before then. So they will be will be first in best dress. That's how we'll work it. Um, don't stress, but there just may be that bit of extra wait time. It's just hard. We're just, we're just doing our best. So hopefully, I would have loved shelves full of stock, but the reality is we need to meet demand where we can. And so I felt it more advantageous to go through all the structured, all the details for you to see and understand the carrier. Um, it's, yeah. It's not released over there yet, so they'll be releasing really soon. So, yes, Eve, the straps are crossable. Let me show you. I'm just going to get the carrier off Haley. Ten seconds, and I will show you how to strap cross the strap. Actually, two seconds. Oh, I forgot to mention. They come in these bags. How cool. How cool is this? So instead of dumping your carrier that you paid, you know, 179 because you got a good deal from us, <laughs> dumping it in the boot of your car, you can roll it up and you can put it in this beautiful corresponding bag and keep it beautiful and beautifully clean, as clean as you can keep the carrier. So that's really cool. Now let me show you. Here's straps crossed. Now, obviously this is a mannequin. I haven't worn this carrier because this is our carrier that we are using. This is our free gift tonight. So I just really, nobody's been allowed to touch this. This went to... A positive birthing meeting here in Bendigo and someone asked to try it on and I said no I just want it for display this is purely for the person who wins it tonight for being here and being part of all the fun so you can see it's got really good padding all right so look and that's with them the straps are all closed up so look it's really not a big deal if you're wearing them crossed you're welcome Eve and here's just a good example of the, the structured the waist it's nice and spongy Without being um, bulky, it's, it'll and it'll soften up as your body accommodates and you wear it and the heat of your body. All right, so I've probably kept you way too long. <gasps> 9.15, wackadoo. All right, I better hop off. I'm going to pop up some more things. Hopefully not all our guests have left. But anyway, it's all good. We'll be there soon. All right, I will jump off now. If you've got any more questions, feel free to write them in the comments and I'll get to them later. Shoot me an email. But please have a look on the product listings. They're live now, ready to go. We would love just to meet that need in the market. Okay, thanks, guys. See ya.